Hey, Peter here from the Tin Man. Coming to you with another walk around video. Today we've got an Osborne 3300 wood stove. This is our leg model. You can get it in a pedestal. A couple different variations of legs. It's uh, rated at about 2300 square feet. It has a really large firebox. The firebox is uh, about 21 inches deep to the glass, front to back, and the side to side is about 19. What makes it a little bit taller than the rest the inside firebox is actually uh, about 13 and a half inches from the uh, bricks to the bottom of the actual uh, secondary air tubes. So it gives you a little bit more space than you see in most stoves. We have our draft control here on the bottom. Slides back and forth, that's high, that's low. Removable um, ash lip. So this actually insert pops out. So you can clean that out, so it's not you're not sitting with ash and stuff on your ash lip. Stove itself is, like I said, 21 inches deep from front to back here, but it's actually 19 from here in. You can see the plug here for the um, ash pan. Ash pan is down here in the bottom. It just slides out. See our hinge mechanism. They've got removable, replaceable pins here. So they've got a um, set screw put in here, and the pins are replaceable if they wear. You can see the glass has a steel frame around it holding it in place. Gasket is graphite. One of my gripes about the stove, one of the things I don't like about it, I'd like to see the manufacturer change, would be the actual door. I like the fact, this is, I really love the fact that this door can swing way open way wide and if you look here you can see how much further out that goes what i don't like is the stove door actually brings up in the body of the stove so what it does is it actually brings up and it's going to actually tear off the paint you can see we only just got the stove out of the crate literally 15 minutes ago and by opening it a couple of times We've got a couple of marks on the stove already. And you can see where it hits here and here when this opens up. I like to see them put some kind of a stop here, something, to keep that from doing it. But I like the fact that it opens up so far, but if it, if it could stop about an eighth of an inch before it brings up, it would be excellent. Stove has really good clearances, especially for a higher heating stove like this. So if you look at our clearances, on our rating plate on the back, so uh, if you're looking at a uh, flat wall installation, so if you look here, we got 14 and a half inches is our A measurement. That's from the back of the stove to the combustible wall. And if you look at it in double wall, we have a, only six inches of clearance. So that's a pretty good clearance. Our, our corner clearance is our C measurement. Our C measurement is 10 inches with single and eight inches with double wall for corner clearances. So that's from the corner of the stove to the combustible wall. So that's really good as well for a stove that can heat 2,300 square feet. So this is your first look, walk around of the Osborne 3300 wood stove. And as always guys, if you like these videos, subscribe to our YouTube page. Go to our Facebook page, timinink.ca. Or sorry, our website, timinink.ca. Facebook. Uh, Tin Man Inc. For all kinds of great stuff. Thanks for watching.